Hello, it's Mark here for GEK, and I am here with the marvellous Tom Pankhurst. Hello. And we are checking out the brand new offerings from Revolta Guitars. So this is the 2020 range. Mm -hmm. What do you know about them? So these are made by Novo Guitars, mm -hmm. um, which is a company started by Dennis Fano. Legend. Um, yeah, so these are a modern take on those classic Fano designs. Um, these are actually an import line. So they are imported from, I think it's Korea, and then they get taken to Nashville, and then they're, they're set up and quality controlled from there as well as from the original factory. Two lines of Yeah, control. so you've got like at least two points of quality control going on. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's a bunch of, uh, there's a bunch of different configurations within the range. Yeah. Um, so you have the Mondatas, Datas, don't know how you say it. Let us know. And the Combinators, so they're the two. And they come in a whole range of different specs. Yep. Um, from different pickups and, and, and all that. We were looking at this earlier. So the way they're kind of um, named is done with X, V, and, and a number. Yeah, Roman numerals, right? Rome, exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so X is in relation to the trem. Yep. So if it has an X, it has yeah. a trem. Yep. V is in relation to the body binding. Yep. So if it's so got yeah. a V, it's got body binding. Yep. And then the number is in relation to the pickups. Yeah. So if so I had an X, V, one, yeah. it would be trem, binding, one pickup. And so that guitar is? An XV3. And this guitar is a Combinator Bass V2. Yep. Yes. Well done. I hope that uh, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Um, so in terms of specs, yep. tell me what they have. Cool. So if I start with the body, it's a chambered mahogany body. Mm -hmm. um, it's got what they call a German carved top, which means that the, the body, the sides of the body are lower than the, the outside. I had to Google that one, but um, that yeah, is what it means. I've heard of yeah. um, but it means you, you can probably see it. It's, um, it's kind of flat at the top and then the sides are recessed or lower than the rest of it. Um, it's got a maple neck underneath this lovely paint job. Uh, it's got bound ebony fretboard, Cluson style tuners, uh, 24 frets, and it's got a set of pickups which are mini humbuckers which are designed for this guitar mm -hmm. by Revolta, um, I believe. Mm -hmm. So um, it's also got some weird switching going on. So we've got standard three-way switches here and here. In the down position, we've got just bridge. In the middle, we've got these two in combination. And then at the top, we've just got neck, which is really standard. standard. And then with this one, this actually controls the middle pickup. So if it's down, that means middle pickup off. Right. In, it's whatever you've got in combination with these. Right. Um, so you could have like middle and just bridge, or middle and that, and you know. Um, and then just middle in that position. Yeah. So you've got a, a whole range of combinations. I think it's seven combinations. Yeah. Um, so that's, those are all the, the controls and then standard volume and tone. And then that's it, I think. It's a really nice guitar. <laughs> Bye. Uh -huh.
um, I find myself saying this a lot lately. Is is their marmite? Yeah, I think to me they 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 bring up that that sort of idea of someone who doesn't want one of the standard guitar companies sort of offerings. Mm. You know, they want something a little bit different. Maybe they're a little bit indie. Mm. If you play a style that's not indie, then you know, like <laughs> apologies. Well, we, we, but... Do you remember? Do you remember who plays them? Because uh, there's a whole, yeah, the, yeah, there's a whole really... bunch of artists. So. Um, it's Corey Taylor from Stone Sour, Slipknot, he plays him, <laughs> which is like, you know, fair enough. And the, um, who was the other one? The guy in the Strokes? Did yeah, think, yeah. I think it was the, name. The guy who did Last Night. That yeah. guy, yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't remember his the name Strokes at all. The Strokes did Last Night, yeah. They did do Last Night. I think, I think, yeah, it's gonna, it's, it's, I mean, I think they look really cool. Yeah, I d I've just noticed something else on this, actually. At the bottom of the bar, it's got like a little velcro pad, like a little soft bit. That's really nice. I oh, like nice that. Nice little touch. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think they, they're they vintage, they're retro, they look cool. But also modern. But also modern. Yeah. Modern. Um, I'd say they're, they're similar, if, if I had to, and I like to do this, there's a Gibson feel for me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't mention the neck profile. Okay. So the neck profile is what they call a C plus. Right. Um, it feels sort of like a standard Strat, but slightly thinner. You're ruining my Gibson. Take well, on, on it like these a, aren't yeah. either, and that's why you'd want one. So that's for me how it felt when I. Yeah, it's it's got a sort of it's it's comfortable. It's got a 12-inch radius on it as well, so it's like just feels yeah. nice to hold. Um, you can shred on it. You can do chords on it. it. It's really nicely sat in between those two. Like I always say, get yourself to a guitar shop. Get yourself to. A, we are there's only a few dealers that are in the UK that are doing them, and we are one of the lucky few. Yeah. Um, so get yourself to a guitar shop and get your hands on one because again, you know, it's really beneficial to do that mm. when buying a guitar. And these, you know, for for a brand that, that that aren't necessarily out there in the mainstream that everyone knows a lot about, um, everyone knows what a Strat feels like. Yeah, yeah. No one knows what this feels like unless you pick it up. So this feels good. <laughs> Um, I think it'd be good to try these out because, uh, like Mark said, they're um, they're not like a standard offering from a, a you know big guitar company. Um, Indeed, not. Yeah. So, if you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the little thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave us a comment because it's always interesting to know what you guys are thinking, yeah. um, and it'd be good to know what you think of these. Yeah. And me and Tom will see you very soon. <laughs>